Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out this jet propulsion. Oh, yeah, and going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says How does a jet engine work? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a straw, some paper, and some tape. Okay, so you probably made like about a billion of those paper airplanes. At least like about a million of them, at least once. Well, actually, no, you, uh, you can't really make a million at, at once. Well, well, well you, I mean, you, you could, but I mean, that's not something that I, you know, I probably, but I'm not gonna show you how to make a paper airplane at all because this is the So Cool Science Show. So I'm gonna show you how to make something so cool. <laughs> so start by getting yourself that piece of paper because I'm gonna show you how to turn this piece of paper into a wicked cool glider right at home. All right, you're gonna start by folding your piece of paper into about two strips that are just slightly over a centimeter in length. Then cut or tear these into two strips. All right, take your first strip of paper and you're gonna attach both ends together using some tape. Next, you're gonna take your second strip of paper and you're gonna make a much smaller circle and tape that together as well. Now, attach the paper rings to your straw. And then, go ahead and give it a toss. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so how exactly does your straw glider work? And how do jet engines make airplanes move forward? More importantly though, how exactly does a jet engine work? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. A jet engine is made up of four major sections. The compressor, the combustor, the turbine, and the exhaust. The compressor is a section of the engine made up of alternating rotor blades and non-rotating stator blades. Air is sucked into the engine by the compressor itself. This causes the air to build up and get compressed or squeezed together. Some of this compressed air is forced into the combustion engine where the air mixes with jet fuel and is ignited to create a small controlled explosion. Just like that in a car engine. This explosion of air is directed towards the turbine which powers the compressor blades. Finally, the gas is shot out of the back of the engine where it creates a fast moving stream of hot air. From this point, Newton's first law of action equals opposite action takes place, pushing the jet engine as well as anything attached to it. Your straw plane works on similar principles to the jet engine. The ring forces air into the cylinder shape, creating a higher pressure zone inside the ring. On top of the straw, there's a slightly lower pressure, which causes your straw plane to actually fly. So now you know how jet engines work. You know, making your own straw glider right at home is why science is so cool.